What's going on guys? My name is Brian and welcome back to another Titanfall video. In this video, I want to go ahead and tell y'all my likes, dislikes, and my worries about Titanfall as of the second day it's out. You know, the game just came out and I think I've got a pretty good aspect of the game and what I think about it. And I want to let y'all know what I like about it so far, what I dislike, and my overall opinion and my worries. So, I want to start off by saying that, you know, despite what I say in this, in this video, I would recommend everyone to go out and try this game it is it is a ton of fun and you know i i think it's totally worth your money it's not like i, I got the game and i'm like crap i should take it back no i i still really enjoy the game and i love the game so despite everything y'all you know everything i say in this video i'd still recommend the game also you know this is just my opinion so take that for what it is and, you know, don't get all butthurt if y'all disagree with me or something. But if y'all do, feel free to leave a comment. You know, that's what it's there for. But anyways, guys, let's hop right into it. I want to start off with the dislikes about this game. Now, there are a few dislikes. And one of the main things I dislike are the Titans. And I know it sounds kind of stupid being that the game was basically built around the whole Titan aspect. And how the Titans are incorporated in the multiplayer experience and all that. But for me, I feel like they're too OP. And what I mean by that is, until you get, like, later on in the game and unlock, like, the second to last and the very last uh, anti-Titan weapon, you know, you're pretty much screwed against Titans. They're, they're terribly, you know, strong, and pilots are just extremely weak from them. And if you run into a pilot, there's very little chance that you're going to escape from that pilot. Chances are he is going to kill you nine times out of ten. That's just part of the game. That's just how it is. Now... I would have liked to see them maybe limit it because sometimes you'll be on a team that's just not very good with pilots. For me, you know what I mean? That's not very good for Titans. Like, for me, I suck at Titans. I'll be honest with you guys. I'm not very good at Titans. Typically, I call my Titan in, turn it into follow mode, and it basically walks around and does its own thing. I, I like staying on my foot. I like doing the whole p hardcore parkour thing, running around doing my own thing. And, you know, every time I get in a Titan, it just seems like I die right away. I'm just not that good with it. So if you're on a team that's not very good at pi at the Titans and the other team is, well, then you're pretty much screwed because the other team will have all their pilots out at or Titans out at once. And then your team might not have any out. And, you know, you're just constantly getting combarded and, you know, basically buttfucked by Titans the entire game. And it can get extremely frustrating. So, you know, I don't know what could you know change it maybe you know limit how many titans are out or maybe you know make titans a tad bit more weaker for pilots to have a little bit more of a chance or you know make them turn a little bit slower or something you know i don't know right now i just feel like titans are extremely annoying and you know they, they they're just used too much another thing that i would have liked to see in the game is they have a titan on titan only game mode I would like to see them maybe add a pilot on pilot game mode, which is those of you that don't know, Titan is basically the big robot guys. And then the pilot is just your usual dude that you run around and, you know, run and gun with. I would have liked to see them maybe add that. Maybe they shrink down the maps a little bit and they just add pilot on pilot warfare, maybe like 12 on 12. Something like that I think would really have, you know, this huge impact on the game. And I think that would be a lot of fun. If they added that versus, you know, you have a Titan v. Titan game, add a Pilot v. Pilot game. Switch it up a bit. That, that's just my opinion on it. Another thing I dislike about the game is I feel like there's not enough in it. Um, within, you know, 10 hours, I had everything unlocked for the game. Within the first day, I had everything unlocked to the game. I max level. And there's not a whole lot of guns in the game. There's like maybe, you know, just off the top of my head, maybe 10. And with that being said, the very first gun you unlock, the assault rifle, that's the best gun in the game. And then the very last gun is the one-shot kill sniper rifle, which is probably the most OP gun out of every game. It is just one hell of a gun. And, you know, other than those two guns, I mean, none of the other guns are really worth using. The only reason I even used any of the other guns was to just get more to, you know, complete challenges and stuff to level up that much quicker. So, in my opinion, they need to have, you know, it'd be nice to see more weapons, um, maybe some, you know, camo, something a little, you know, something to motivate you a little bit more to unlock stuff versus just stuff for your Titan. And, you know, overall, I just feel like there wasn't enough in the game. You look at Battlefield, you look at COD, and, you know, I hate to compare it to them because I know it's just a totally separate game. 
But, you know, COD, okay, you can get max level within 10 hours, okay? But the thing about COD is it'll have 30 guns or something. So if you get bored with one gun, you can switch to another one and <laughs> fuck around with it. That's really not the case in Titanfall. There's, you know, most of the guns don't stand up to the very first assault rifle. The very first assault rifle is just a hell of a gun. It is an absolute beast of a weapon. So, in my opinion, I don't know, they could have added more weapons and more guns. And, you know, they just could have added more things overall in the game to keep you busy. So, with that being said, that kind of shortened the game down. Another thing is, once you get level 50, there's no real incentive to prestige. Um, they call it regeneration in Titanfall, which is basically you start all the way over back at level 1. And you just work your way back up like if you were in COD and you prestige. But in COD, you know, you get the extra slot class. Well, in Titanfall, all you get is, like, a uh, XP boost on each pr consecutive prestige. They give you higher XP boost, so you level up quicker. But in reality, there's no real reason to prestige, because it's not like you're getting some cool uh, camo or some cool, you know, extra slot class or anything like that. So in my opinion, I'm not going to prestige. You know, I get nothing out of it. And it, I grinded so much to get all these guns and everything for it. I'm just going to stick here, you know. That way when I hop on Titanfall, I can just hop right into it, have fun with the game, and enjoy myself versus having to, you know, level up and get everything again. So in my opinion, you know, there's no real motive to prestiging, which that's, you know, that's something that kind of lowers the game. You know, between that, the Titans, you know, you, you don't really have enough uh enough games or enough enough guns enough things in the game to keep you in it and then another thing is campaign um it, i know it says multiplayer campaign but it's not really a campaign it's like a multiplayer game you just switch through game modes with a little bit of a backstory i would have liked to seen an actual single player campaign because titanfall when you're playing the game it just seems like a game that like dude if this thing had a campaign it would be one kick-ass campaign um, I would have, you know, it's just something that you would like to, you know, see where the Titans come from, see how everything started, how everything built to the stage that it's at now. So that's kind of sad knowing that there's not a campaign. There's not a, uh, there's just nothing to give you any background information on how everything began and how it got to the stage that it's at. So that's kind of, you know, the basic dislikes about Titanfall. Now for the likes, I like that there is a lot of maps. Um, when the game launched, there's originally like 15 maps, so it's a good a number of maps where, it, you know, you're constantly on different maps. It's not like two or three maps and you're, you get tired of them. No, so they switch up maps quite often. Another thing I like is parkour, man. I'm not going to lie. Titanfall, I feel like, uh, mastered the movement. Now, one thing about Titanfall is if any of y'all played this and then try to go to a different game, it fucks you up. Titanfall will fuck you up terribly. Me and my friends, we were playing Titanfall all night, and then, you know, I got max level, so I was, I was getting kind of bored with Titanfall, so I went to go play Battlefield with some friends, and Battlefield felt so slow, and like, you know, it was just ungodly slow and unbearable, and I was trying to run up walls and stuff, it was just horrible, it fucked up my whole Battlefield experience, so that's something that you need to be prepared for if you're gonna go from like, Titanfall to Battlefield. So just keep that in mind, guys. It will fuck you up. Um, another thing I like about Titanfall, though, is the grunts, the titans, and then the pilots, they all really mix together. By the way, the grunts are the AI soldiers. They all mix together, and it always you're always in the action somewhere on the map. No matter what you're doing, you're always in the action. You're always having fun. And, you know, it always just keeps keeps you engaged in the game. So that's something that I really liked about the game. Another thing is, is at the end of every game of attrition, I don't know if this is for the other games, but once the game is over, uh, a dropship comes in. And you get 30 seconds to get to the where the dropship is going to come in. And then you get another 10 seconds to get in the dropship, which all you got to do is run, jump, and it automatically throws you in the gun, in the game, in the ship, damn it, in the ship. Um, but th the catch is, if you die... In, the, in that time period, you're out of the game. That's it. And it's, you know, whatever team loses has to get to the dropship. But if no matter what side of the team you're on, if you die, uh, that's it. You're out of the game for that, you know, the end 30 seconds. If you make it to the dropship, you get, you know, I think a 1,000 more XP or something, which is, which is something 
which is a good incentive to get there. And it's a whole lot of fun, you know, messing around with friends. Like, oh, let's let's go to the dropship, guys. And, you know, that's something that's a lot of, I like how it kind of adds to, like, you know, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I just like it, okay? Um, another thing I like is um, with everything going on in Titanfall, there's not a whole lot of camping. Um, from what I noticed, there's not a whole lot of camping. Titans do tend, you know I mean, pilots do tend to stay on, like, rooftops and stuff. But other than that, there's no real, like, I'm going to sit in a corner for the entire game and just blast people. There's really none of that. So that's something that I'm like, okay, I like this. Okay, th this needs to stay. So from what I can tell right now, I mean, it's a good game. There's not a whole lot in the game for you that will keep you interested in it for a while. In my opinion, the game it, all around is just a very entertaining and um, it's an extremely fun game to play. And I would highly recommend it to anybody that's just looking for a game to play. Go pick up Titanfall. It's currently on Xbox One and PC. And I believe it's fixing to be released on Xbox 360. I'm not quite sure when that will be. But, you know, overall, it's a great game. It has its flaws like every game. And it has, you know, its, its uh, advantages. But in my opinion, guys, it's, it's an amazing game. My worries, though, is it's not going to last long term. Like, in a few months, it's not going to last. Now... I'm, I'm saying that right now, but who knows what they're going to add with DLC. You know, if they add guns and, you know, all this different stuff with DLC, then it could totally flip the game around. For me, I, f I beat it in one day. And, you know, if, you, if I can beat it that quick, then there's not a whole lot in the game, you know. I feel like I've seen everything that I can see in the game. And now when I hop on, it's just like, eh, you know, it's, it's whatever. But, you know, that's my worries about the game. That's how I feel about it. And if y'all feel the same way, let me know in the comment section. If y'all feel different, you know, let me know in the comment section. If y'all like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Keep up to date when I upload new videos. Follow me on Facebook. It's the easiest way to keep in touch with me. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next video.